What's up, everybody? This is Super Robot Ed. I just recently changed my name because Ed Talks 1 just didn't make sense. And what do I collect? Robots. Transforming robots at that. So today, this is not really going to be a review or even a preview. I'm not really going to go through the whole molds on this. However, I'll probably just do the core figure. It's a lot of parts and, well, it's a parts former. And... That's not the issue. There's no really issue with it. I knew what I was getting into when I bought it. So I'm not here to rant or talk bad about it. I just want to show it off real quick. So this is from Yamato. And this is Galaxy Cyclone Briger, Um, Which is part of the J9 series in Japan. So this is J9. And then J9-2 is Boxinger. Which is the five motorcycles that form a robot. Uh, that toy came out on the art pose. And then there's the j9 3 which is sovereignger and that's uh the green robot that turns into a train so have you ever seen remember converters converters had a toy called first train that was sovereignger um they couldn't really do a toy that transforms for this and the reason being in briger he turns into a small car then he turns into a jet and then he turns into this robot the problem is it's not a it doesn't translate well the original toy for this the actual godaiken is a parts former and probably about 25 percent of the toy is parts forming this toy however <laughs> is like lego and i really didn't buy it for that per se because there's like a ton of parts now most of the reviews on him are of the small version um which is the yamato gnu but this is the yamato do u gnu ultimate super robot selection and to be quite honest with you if you don't like this character you don't need to buy this is it expensive nah you can actually get this you shouldn't pay no more than 100 bucks which this came out 150 I think it's only around like 5,000 of these made. So it's not a big, large number. It's not mass produced, but it's not, it wasn't worth the money that it was when it was, I think like 150, 175. And it's not because it's all plastic and it's the smooth kind of like third party plastic, but the joints are a bit finicky. There's also, magnets in it and you know you basically pull this apart almost down to just the legs and to form the uh you know different molds like bry thunder and uh bry star which is the jet mode and then bry thunder is the car mode and then of course there's briger the robot mode i just love the robot silhouette this is one of the coolest looking robots in my opinion that doesn't get a lot of shine because it's old 80s anime not well known to people i just happen to know about it because i love 80s anime 80s anime in japan is the best 70s is good because it produced a lot of godaiken toys which transferred into the 80s but this right here this is one of the, the better series and if you could find it and watch it on various you know streaming sites i think some do have the j9 series this is actually a better series. Some people say Boxinger is better. A Boxinger, to me, is decent. I like the way the show is, but I think Riger was much better. Um, so just to give you an idea of what the parts are, and I messed up on a few parts too, trying to tighten up the joints. You get this spear, and the cool thing about the spear is the spear is metal. This is actually metal. It's cool to the touch this is plastic and it's sharp and this is the other part and you kind of put it together to form the spear um now the part that i messed up on was the cannons trying to tighten up the joints i messed it up so this is probably not going to sell i mean it's not broken but the paint kind of came off and the cannons are very loose i mean it's very loose like the nail polish that i try to use to tighten it up is kind of keeping it from being extra loose but it, it's just way too loose and these parts right here i mean it's just it's annoying and in the weight distribution on it when you put it on the back of him he could fall down 
So those, that's the weapons. Well, I mean, that's not all the weapons. And then we got the sword. And the sword is really nice. It's, like I said, it's really, these are like high quality plastic. Like, I wish the plastic quality was on, on this like that. Um, but you can see the sword. And it's well painted. I mean, like I said, so be forewarned if you buy one. Now comes the rest of it. <laughs> and there's a car hood. I think I'm supposed to even break that down further. There's a... <laughs> there's a... Uh, there's the exhaust. There. Um, hey, let's look at the articulation for a second. So he does have a leg and these parts, you know, kind of like the Gundam. And like all these parts come apart. Like you see his legs falling down. So he can do that. Um... And this lifts up in the back, so he can do that. Well, that's, oops, sorry about that. And again, the legs go all the way back to there. Nice. He will not do a super kick. And I'll show you why. That man, <laughs> he's, he's, he's going to fall. Hands articulating. He's got that, you know, this is like iconic in the show, so that's his hand, you know. Uh, he does have a waist swivel. Which can turn all the way around, but that tends to pop this out, which will cause the the front skirts to pop out. So, but he does have that. The head is can look up and down, and I do like the the head sculpt. It's one of the things I like about the series. It's like he's got a mustache or a helmet mustache, you know. I always thought that was pretty cool about this particular uh, series, you know. Um, like I said, there are magnets, so like what it's doing right now literally locks into place. Um, let's see. And this is the side, and this is the back. And the back is modular too, by the way. And like I said, that's part of the process of putting the guns on the back. I'm not putting those guns on. That's like the worst thing I had to do with this toy, and I was messing around with it. Like, that wasn't really fun. Um, you know, putting those parts on. Um, you know, but let's look at the sword for a second. And I like the sword. I really do like the sword. The sword is like just amazing, you know, but it is weighty. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it doesn't hold well. And I think that's a flaw in it because it's old. I mean, this thing is like, this came out in 07. It's not your model's best. Trust me. You you know, if you buy this, know, again, you have to know what you're getting into. And believe me, when you get into this, you're going to be like, really? Um, but again, that's how he looks holding a sword there. And you can take a look at it. Um, and here he is compared to a leader class is this is how big he is he's basically leader the old leader class style so a lot of the videos don't really translate his size well of how big he is and you know there he is same size as uh, uh overlord here so i mean you know he is big but besides all that, he comes with a lot of parts. So to be honest with you, I don't like how he holds the sword. That was another gripe I had. The cannons, they're loose. I mean, they're finicky. It's, like I said, when you buy this, buy this because you like the show. Don't buy this because you actually like this toy. Um, And it could just be mine. I, I got this for about 100 bucks. I guess everything we buy is not going to be perfect, and I'm not making any justifications on that. But I do like, I just love the silhouette of this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wish Yamato put just a little bit more effort in this. And to be honest with you, probably I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do it. And I'm going to go through it again. I'm just going to tell you that if you get this, you're this is what you're going to be dealing with. It's been around for a while. The tolerances are... You know, it shouldn't be that loose. Nobody, I mean, I don't, 
you know, I've put nail polish on toys and it's tightened up better than this. It's still, it's better, but I'm, I don't want to hurt the toy anymore. Or, you know, mess with the paint and I've already did that. You know, I took it too far, but it will stand and it's, it's light, but it's big and the plastic's not cheap. Like you, it's not something you would break off. But if you're a fan of the series, there's an evolution toy that I'm, I don't know. I gotta look into that. I, I no one needs to even review this. This is how scarce it is. But uh, super edit number one. All right. I know I ended it video, but I kind of just couldn't leave you guys. It's not my cup of tea. So first things first. This is Bry Star, and you can see it's in the Bry Star mode. It is a lot of parts you have to reform. Just to show you what's missing, the head is here. That's all. Um, these parts are taped on. And once you take them off, they're a pain to put back on. So this is the jet mode. And you can see where the torso and the legs. It's it's not. I don't have time to show it on camera. But it's the jet mode. And the cool thing is, you know, it's got a magnet. That just kind of, see, clicks in place. Now underneath... You can put like the skids and remove parts like here. I'm not putting those on because like I said, I don't really like dealing with small, small parts on any of my toys, especially toys, you know, like these, because, you know, there's not like something I can just go to the store and pick up another one. You know, this is, you know, something I bought off of eBay. And but other than that, I mean, it's pretty cool. Like. Did you get what I'm saying? Like literally in the show, they couldn't, you can't even do this with the original Godaiken. So it's not like the Godaiken was fully, fully transformable, but they did the cost cut move for engineering, just like Gundam did with Zeta and double Zeta, you know? Um, but it's cool. I mean, it looks like a jet. I mean, you know, everything's in place, you know, it's, it has that feeling of plastic, like, you know, and you can see it from here, from the side, and, you know, from the top. And I don't know why that keeps doing that from the top. And you can see the legs right there. And you had to do a lot of twisting and folding. And then you got to add on parts. These are all add-on. These are all add-on. The cockpit is add-on. So, you know, it just wasn't engineered to be that way. So, you know, but like I said, it's, it's a quality of plastic that's, gonna hold it's probably not you know if you sit this on the shelf make sure you have it sitting somewhere but basically this is what it looks like the jet mode and I, I, it looks cool it does look cool but just you know it's a parts form and again i'm not mad it's a parts form i knew that so let's not go there so now we're gonna do uh another edit which is gonna be bright thunder and uh, that'll be it. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. My camera keeps falling. I don't know what's wrong with my stand. I fixed it now. This is the car mode. And I kind of like the car mode. And it does roll. And it's kind of, in car mode, it's actually heavier than the robot mode. But again, it's very clean. See that? It's very clean. But, you know, you're left with so many parts. And I did leave out. A couple of parts for the jet mode which I'm probably not gonna go back to um, and there are a few extra parts like this like I said the scans and everything in the hands um, Lord, I don't know if I don't miss the hand these are the hands but you can see them there you can see them there but it rolls I mean and these were the parts I left out for the jet the little thrusters and everything you see that I, I forgot about those because I've only done this like one and a half times. I did the jet mode twice. Um, I only done the car mode once because I really had to go back and look at it. But it's heavy, man. The head is, I don't know why it's heavier in car mode than it is in robot mode. It's like, <laughs> but I mean, it's a smooth roll. It's very smooth. It's smoother than some transformers, and and I want to point that out. Um, yeah, I still like it. Like I said, it's because the smaller one doesn't do all the modes. It just does the robot mode and that's it, which is a little, it, to me, I think the paint on the smaller one is a little detailed, 
but it doesn't do the car. Now, I always thought the car mode for this toy was pretty cool. And like I said, there is another version of this toy by another company. Uh, have to see how things go. I might get it because it's going for $200. Now, I just bought God Mars. That was 300 bucks, And I just bought um, my wife, one of the angels, the Minerva Angel from uh, Mazinger for Solo Chogakin. So that was roughly, I just spent 400 bucks. So I think I'm done for toys unless it's, you know, Trail Breaker, which I'm missing, you know, the regular mainline stuff from, you know, Transformers and anything big purchases. I gotta, I gotta wait a little bit, but, um, I like this, like I was, going into it was daunting, but I like it. I mean, I really do like the way it looks. I, I, I just wish it was not as much of a parts former, but I'm not upset by it. Like, I understand it. Like, compared to Zeta Gundam, compared to Double Zeta, where the 144 scale toys are complete parts formers, when they weren't, <laughs> yes, when they weren't, and that's another, I don't want to get in that rant, but this is okay because of the scale, the way that it scales, like, this car is small, and when he turns into a robot, he's big, you know what I'm saying, so he's not... There's a lot of mass shifting, just like it does with Transformers, and it's kind of like Getter Robo, where you know in action, in, in the truth with Getter Robo, that there's not going to really be a toy that can really translate perfect transformation without sacrificing something. I know that they've done it um, with a couple of companies, but it's still not. Uh, Studio Half Eye did it first, and then I think was it, I think Evolution Toys did one. I gotta look that one up, but. Those things are like a thousand dollars now, but if you ever watch Get a Robo, the it's impossible to do it and and translate it. It's 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 you know, it's animation that's doing it, and it's the same thing with this. This is animation that does it, but you know this is one avenue that you can go, and you shouldn't pay no more than a hundred bucks, which I think it's fair, because it was one fifty and I got this for one hundred dollars. Uh, with it was like 10 bucks ship it comes in a huge box this thing is really really huge man it's just for size comparison so you can see it i mean this is this is a this is the seeker look look at it it's very big and the box is big because all these extra parts are in a box on its own so all right and i'm back and I just want to get my thoughts about this toy. The tolerances are bad. And I don't know if it's the fact that I bought it used because they didn't say it was played with. Um, and it could just be my copy. I don't know. Uh, but it's very, very on the loose side. It's kind of on the floppy side. It doesn't hold its weapons well. Like, I don't know if it's something I do wrong. I got to keep trying to fix it. You know, maybe super glue. I don't know yet. I'm going to play around with it for a little bit and see how that works and, you know, see if I can get it to be a little stiffer because I really do want to hold its weapons. Um, but he does come with a lot of weapons and that's something that I do like. Um, I like the presence of the toy. Without putting the weapons in his hand, he's very poseable. Um, he looks like the cartoon or the anime. Um, he is poseable to an extent, but... All of the tolerances are just so loose and weird. But uh, giving your models track record for their early, uh, you know, cyclones and everything like that is to, I mean, not cyclones, uh, Valkyries is to be expected. Um, I really wish that this was improved because it has that potential. It's that good quality plastic where you, it almost is unbreakable. Like if this was just a toy made in like, you know, just toy itself, this would be a good toy for the, and, and a, a good line for this figure. I mean, you know, I'm glad I didn't stop here because if they did Boxinger or any other series, it probably would have been bad. But in my opinion, you're buying this because you like the show and there aren't a whole lot of toys available for it. There's three, two from Yamato, one's this size and one's the small size. And the other one is the, uh, one from Evolution Toys. And like I said, I'm thinking about it. Just not right now. 
It's, uh, it's at a later date. I know where to find it. I know where to get it. But the series itself, Briger, it's a pretty cool series. The Again, the plastic quality on this, if you want to just kind of get an idea of it, it's, you know, it's not cheap. And the details are there, but I think that the smaller version has slightly better details. Slightly better. But other than that, I still like it, though. It's, it's cool looking. It's just... That's the bottom line. And like I said, some of these tolerances can be fixed if I just take a little bit more time and care. And mainly for the posability, I do want to fix, you know, the hands now. Because the legs, I think I'm done. There's nothing else I want to do with those. And if I do anything with it, it's going to be more or less, you know, because uh, I am not. I don't want to buy this again. It's going to be more or less to get it tightened up a little bit for maybe standing on the shelf in the future. I'm not going to buy this again. If I break something on it or mess it up, I just mess it up. I'm going to move on to the Evolution Toys version, which is a little higher priced than this. About on the secondary market, it's double the price, but I saw it and it looks like it has metal ball joints, less parts forming, and that might be something for me to consider. But overall, I can't give you a final thoughts on this because, like I said, if you're not a fan of Briger, you're just watching this video out of curiosity. And like I said, there aren't many other videos on YouTube even about this toy. And the quality of those videos suck. Um, no offense, they were filmed 10, 11 years ago. Um, but other than that, if you watch the cartoon, you'll understand the again, I mean, you'll understand why, you know, like I said, these things can be fixed. And, you know, I just, it's just a cool looking piece, man. It's like, if you can get past those things and you really like Briger, yeah, I would get this out. I've seen one as cheap as 60 nine dollars i've seen some people sell the smaller one for the same price they sell the large one and it's more playability how it is you can play with this thing you can take it apart or rearrange it so it's one of the parts former that i give a pass to for that you know that reason it's it's it, i give a pass to no i don't like parts for me at all at all but in this case you really have to understand if you watch the show it it parts forming is needed for this one for this particular figure but it's a cool looking figure it's awesome it's just every time i look at it i just go damn i'm glad i got it so i'm not upset that i bought it you know it's just i gotta work on it fix it and you know like i said i gotta fix what i did with the guns other than that it's gonna really go back in the box for now um but the box is cool. Like I say, go to my live, my first live stream video. You'll see the box because the box is too big and it won't fit in the light box. So what do I have to say about it? Man, you know, if you like the show, get it. If you don't like the show, don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt you. Um, so again, this is Super Robot Ed because like I said, it's more than just Transformers. It's Super Robots. And I thank all my subscribers. I thank you for liking. I thank you for sharing or whatever you do. Comment. I appreciate it. I thank you. Any criticisms, I thank you. And again, my name is Super Robot Ed, and have a great and wonderful everything.